You do have my rabbit. Forgotten your manners? And what else, I wonder? You abandoned it at Rutledge Asylum, my dear. We've been over this before. What In a matter? Huff as usual, oozing with attitude and accusatory flummery, I've stolen her rabbit. Ridiculous pretext. She's here about the fire again. All the mad child wants to talk about. My report found her family dead by misadventure. She won't accept it. It goes on and on about her killing memories and her need to know the truth. The alleged truth is, the fire began in the library when the cat knocked over a lamp. The blaze trapped her parents and sister upstairs. Sister Lizzie never even unlocked her door, died in her bed. The guilty cat always sets her off. She denies it, makes no sense, it can't be, etc. Agreed. And from the outset, Alice was my candidate for the pyromaniac. The girl had a fixation with fire. And I once remarked that I thought she might have had a larger role in causing the tragedy. She suffered some sort of psychotic episode. So, was it the cat who did it? I don't know. We seem to have did a lot I of. Did his head off? I wanted to. What? What's left of my brain will explode. Is it mad to pray for better hallucinations? Hallucinations? Perhaps I'm fated to expire right here. Oh yeah, that's actually a good question. This place is now suddenly all abandoned and beat up. All movable effects are gone. Nothing but dust, stains, and smell of tobacco. No sign of the coroner's report or my rabbit either. Damn him. So, was he here to begin with, or is she just hallucinating all these other people? How much is real and how much is in her mind? That's a constant cycle of, like, what is going on in this game? I'd like some answers, but I don't think I'm going to get any. Yeah, the whole place is just shut down. Nothing left. The place is all boarded up. How the hell did I get in? Is this even real? Am I even real? I'm so confused. And it's snowing. Now I really feel like we're in a Christmas carol. Except this is the story where Mr. Scrooge got taken in by the three ghosts and didn't survive to Christmas morning. Hey look, it's the... It's the Mock Turtle. Yeah, this is definitely not in my... This is definitely in my head. Or it's starting to branch over into my head. Giant mushrooms that are on fire. Sure, why not? Oh. There's... More Wonderland, and there's the train! I'll admit the train looks awesome. It looks like a cathedral, but at the same time, it's like, I don't like that train. This bloody ruin! It's corrupting all of Wonderland! Seeking refuge from the wicked world? Perhaps things only look like they've gone to hell. Thanks, Cat. You're not that good a liar, and I'm not that stupid. But something a bit less calamitous would have been welcome. This unmitigated disaster is your doing, and it will get worse. Your train keeps a hellish schedule. Get moving. Time waits for no one. The change has begun. You're not the, the white rabbit. Perfectly capable of terrifying me, Cat. You should find another job. Is there really so little hope? There's even less, and if fear paralyzes you, we are lost. She doesn't seem that scared to me. If anything, she just sounds pissed. Oh, we got more you guys. Alright, your turn now. Well, at least you're easier than the, uh, the Colossal Ruin. He sucks.
buddy. I'm a god all day. Well, not really, but I still can kill you. Yay, I win, and I didn't actually get hurt too badly hurt this time. That's a plus. Alright, I guess I smash this open. Oh, god. You know, let's just promote more drugs. Why not? Charlie of a thousand miles begins with a single step. A single step off London Bridge could end my journey. Failure as your epitaph. Uh, I'd hoped you were more courageous. I'm guessing that's Caterpillar talking just because of the hookah. And I'm guessing because they just used a Chinese proverb of some kind that we are going into a Eastern territory, especially when we saw the stuff in the solicitor's office before he da near disappeared. Oh, crud. No, okay. That was a bit of a lucky break there. I thought I was dead. No! Well, I got the teeth. That's a plus. <laughs> but now I gotta get back up there. This side, I don't have to worry about losing the bottle this time. See, I already got the bottle, so... And I just gotta wait for the platform to get closer. Too bad I can't shoot from here, otherwise those little guys would be, uh... Those little guys would be dead where they stand. Perfect. Great, more hookahs. And more snail shells. Why do the snails have teeth? I'm fairly certain snails don't have teeth. I could be wrong about that, but... Whatever. I'm just gonna blow into this hookah and, uh... That vaporous ledge only appears as flimsy and insubstantial as your conscience. It will hold you. <laughs> okay, thank you, caterpillar. Uh, when are we going to talk about the shiny crocodile? Uh, let me just look around really quick, see if there's anything of major interest. Some teeth. I'm guessing I go over there, so I'll get to that in due time. Now, first things first, I want to get this over here. I mean, granted, the bottles are only like artwork, I think, but eh, might as well try. Okay, so where do I go from here? Let me see. Is there any hints? Tricks? Up there, then. Damn slithering ruins. Yeah, it looks like I go up there to get to the caterpillar. Okay. Anything else while I'm looking? No, it doesn't look it. Okay. Am I gonna have to fight the colossal ruin again? I hope not. This looks like it's gonna be a fighting area, though. I guess I'm collecting a lot of bottles, not a lot of memories. Does this. Can I break this? Nope, okay. What's that? Looks like there's a uh, another weapon here. Looks like a little teapot. Oh, the Mad Hatter. Yeah, this would have probably been more appropriate to have him here, but alright. A teapot cannon. Never seen before, huh? Third instant tea party, it will be a blast. Shoots devastating tea grenades. What type of tea, though? Teapot cannon is highly effective against groups of enemies. The longer the shot is charged, the larger the blast radius will be. The teapot cannon has been used to demolish weak surfaces at range. Switch between the pepper grinder and the teapot cannon by using the mouse scroll, or I'm guessing, in my case, the directional pad.
Ooh, this is devastating, all right. But it takes a while to load. That I don't know if I like. Oh no. I bet you this is what I have to use to kill you, isn't it? Wait, what am I? That actually did quite a bit of damage. Ah! I don't know why I keep turning to the left whenever I do that. Come on, dude. I don't like you. And I don't even know how I'm supposed to be able to dodge you properly. Okay, that's... That's a little frightening. Oh, okay, ouch. Yeah! In your face, Colossal Ruin! Literally, I stabbed you in the face multiple times. Okay, so the teapot seems to be... The big thing to use for that thing. Alright, so let me actually see here. How can I upgrade this? No, I have way too many to collect at this point. Okay, so. Good to know. And they give you plenty of health afterwards, because they know that you're going to die multiple times to this thing. Or at least get seriously injured. There we go. Alright, so... Where exactly am I going for this? Why am I looking angry there? Their teeth over this way. Because I don't see anything and I can't fit through those holes as much as they'd like me to. So, moving onward then. Nope, but I can't smash that. Is that the way I'm supposed to go? Or up? Okay, looks like I have to go up there. So let me go over here and grab the stuff here first. Damn slithering ruins. Get out of here. Oh, well, I'm getting close to getting the 525 I need to upgrade my teapot, but... Yeah, and it doesn't, I haven't heard a pig snout in a while, so I think we're okay in that sense. Alright. 
right, more hookah business. <sighs> I'm devastated. Look what's become of my beautiful valley. All things change in the fullness of time, often not for better. You say so, lady. Or caterpillar, whatever. Catastrophe may strike even the best regulated families. Of course, one family's disaster may be another family's opportunity. And the same goes for a surviving family member. So basically, you're saying that it was a good thing my parents died, even though I'm pretty much left with nothing because I am insane. Good to know. At least I'm getting my health back. That's a plus. But now I gotta make my way back up. Caterpillar, you're making this trip way too... Difficult at times to say. I'm not jumping down for that. seem to make him mad though. Definitely makes that fight a lot easier. Oh man, am I gonna have to find another colossal ruin though? I really don't wanna. I'm just going around in circles here at this rate. All things to hit me was a slithering ruin. Jeez. At least I go down one hit. That's a plus. So much hookah, so little time. At this rate, she's probably gonna be passed out on drugs. Alright, so do I go? I guess I start over here. Oh, I got a bottle out of it. That's a plus. Oops. I almost got myself murdered there. Come on, you show me your baby face. Use a teapot cannon and range to break the wall. Which wall? Oh, that wall. Okay. There we go. That wasn't terrible. Do I hear a snout? No. Maybe I'm just hearing things. Oh, hello. I see we got you guys back.
Alright, so far you're not terrible, but you're definitely annoying. Wow, that actually did a pretty good job. I didn't have to, like, run up and hit him several times. I don't know, I still kind of like the snicker-snack of the Vorpal Blade, but eh. Oh, you little... This teapot. Alright, so anything else? Anything else? No? Well, in that case, I'm getting the hell out of here. Oh, great, I'm back here, but it looks like, uh, it looks like it's become quite a ruined, desolate area. I mean, it seems like it's been going badly for a while now, but hey, at least I'm not crying now in that statue. God, how long does this go on? Oh no, there's another enemy coming up? As if this can't get any worse. Oh well. Oh, this just keeps going and going. longer do I have to keep going on this? I don't know, this is taking a while, so I think I'll wrap it up for now, just because this is going on a while, and I'm not quite sure where we're going, but we're heading towards Caterpillar, that much I know. For some reason, we gotta talk to Caterpillar, and we gotta do all this hookah business to get to him, so I guess we'll see if we can get to Caterpillar in the next part, but for now, this is Star Princess HLC saying thank you very much for watching, and have a fond farewell.